welcome to the Snowsuit Fun Gala in a Box for 2020. Um, this gala is presented by Canadian Tire and the dinner is sponsored by BMO Private Wealth Management. We're very excited to be able to cook for you tonight and uh, thanks for finishing this off at home. Of course, we would love to all be together in person, but that's just not possible under these circumstances. So we appreciate you uh, being a part of the, the dinner preparation process. I hope uh, everyone got their package uh, nice and all right. I'm gonna go through uh, how to finish this beautiful meal, this beautiful four course meal at home in just a few minutes. Um, the, uh, the gala committee has done such a great job with Knock on Woods Communications and uh, Karen and Stephanie, they've been a joy to work with and we have such a great meal for you tonight. Um, so I've jumped ahead because I wanna keep this video nice and tight. My name is Steve Becta, by the way, and uh, we have the Curator by Becta uh, honor of participating with you tonight. So I've gone ahead and put uh, the beef short rib in the oven. It comes in a container just like this. I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips the first thing is make sure to open up the container and cut the plastic bag around the beef and remove it and then just put it on top of the potatoes and the mushrooms because you don't want to bake it in the bag. Um, and the next thing is when you put the top back on because you want the top so all the moisture doesn't go away. Just all you have to do is put the top on gently. You don't need to seal it all up again because it's going to be super easy to be able to take off a little bit later. So the beef's been in the oven for, for a couple minutes now. The pasta is going to go in in just a second. Um, but I want to get to the charcuterie. So there is a really cool demi baguette from Nat's Bread. Um, Nat used to be a sous chef of ours at Becta, and uh, she is just such a great baker. So the key on this is that you want to steam it a little bit so that it's nice and fresh. So take a few ice cubes, throw it on the bottom of your oven. It's going to steam a little bit when, when it's at that temperature and just put the baguette there and the ice cubes will melt and they'll just steam the bread. And this is a great way for you when you're at home and you have baguette left over from the previous day and you want to freshen it up, but just throw some ice cubes in the, in the bottom of the oven, warm it up for five minutes, slice it up, beautiful with cheese and charcuterie. So let's go ahead and unwrap these. So we've got two lovely cheeses for you tonight. Um, so the first is a Tom de Haute Richelieu, which is a, a firm goat's cheese. It's the one with the yellowish rind. Don't eat the rind. It's not so tasty. But a really nice, fresh, uh, firm goat's cheese. And then the next one is one of my favorites, uh, double cream cow's milk cheese. Um, and this is the Brie de Meaux, uh, from France. And it's just sort of a classic earthy, mushroomy uh, brie. Um, and it's served with uh, a raspberry uh, chutney. Uh, so that's the red one. And then our charcuterie is served with uh, the grainy mustard with uh, fresh local honey and then some homemade pickles. And we've got it going on on a little charcuterie board tonight. And we can plate this up while the bread is in the oven. So we have some uh, pepper salami from Creel and Gambro, one of our favorite producers. Uh, local producer of charcuterie. And then we've got some gorgeous Italian prosciutto here to round things out. But literally just take it out and place it right down there. Let's get rid of those guys. So here is kind of what your cheese and charcuterie board should look like before uh, the baguette goes on. And that will get you started. And next, while the bread is uh, getting finished in the oven, I'm gonna talk about our salad course. Now there's a little bit of discrepancy between what is written and what your salad course is. Um, in the instructions, it says to place the dill on top. Well, we've taken the work out of it for you. The committee was very keen on making this super easy to finish at home. So we've just mixed the dill right in with the radicchio and endive. So take your sunflower seeds, pour them right in, and your sweet pickled corn. And then next we've got the buttermilk dressing. And just give that a nice stir. 
Now don't forget, we're gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper if you want. Now it's got some seasoning already, but people like me like a little bit of extra salt and pepper because it brings out the flavor, but each to your, your own taste. Now, don't forget the, the uh, pecorino is going on top as well, so that's a little bit salty. So just be careful not to over salt things because the pecorino is gonna provide that. And just that plate that nicely on the plate. By the time I do this, the baguette should be all nice and refreshed. There's nothing like warm bread coming out of the oven. And we're very grateful that you've done the meal kit at home because really take out food, especially for this many people. This was a record this this uh, week or this order, this day. Um, we've had over 450 meals uh, because of the in in response to the snowsuit fun gala, and that blows our record away. So here we go. We have the lovely endive and radicchio salad, done with the pickled corn, sunflower seeds, and the shaved pecorino on top. Okay, next up, demi baguette is going to be a little warm. So just be careful about that. You can use a towel to hold on to it and slice it nicely with a knife. Some people use a bread knife. I prefer using a chef's knife. It seems to, to work better for me, but whatever you have at home will work just fine. And slicing it thin and warm allows the cheese, which hopefully you've left out of the fridge, always important to temper your cheese, and then it'll just melt so beautifully on your baguette. All right, there we have it. Now, um, pasta is going in the oven. It's gonna do a little, little bake for 12 minutes in total. To be honest, I left that a little long, so we're gonna pull it out a little bit early compared to what you're doing, because I don't want to sit here and talk your head off for the whole time. Um, I want to take a few minutes to tell you about uh, the Snowsuit Fund and how important it is in our community. So first of all, uh, the organizing committee has done such an incredible job uh, putting this all together uh, during a pandemic to be able to raise uh, funds for this. So uh, every year, the Snowsuit Fund um, gets 16000 snowsuits for children and youth in our community. And God, it's so important. You know, can you imagine not being warm enough during the winter? It, to have a proper coat, a proper snowsuit is just life changing. And so I'm very grateful um, that this uh, foundation exists in our community. And I just want to say thanks to all of the organizing members who have put so much time and effort into putting this gala together and for all the work you do in our community. Okay, with that said, I'm gonna jump ahead for a minute and talk about the dessert. Because who doesn't love dessert? So while the short rib and the pasta is baking, we're gonna show you how to plate this guy up. So, it's pretty simple. Got a delicious chocolate tart. Put it in a plate or on a bowl. And we've got some gorgeous whipped cream here that we whipped today. And we need a little bit of garnish to make it super pretty. And so we've got a ground cherry and you should have had the leaves sort of pulled back. Let's put it right on there. And now you've got fine dining, dark chocolate dulce de leche tart with whipped cream and ground cherry. I'm gonna be enjoying that in a few minutes. Okay, so while the pasta is baking away, I think um, we are ready for the short rib. But before we do that, we have one last little thing to do. You've got a little container of microgreens. Um, mostly in your case, I believe it is going to be pea shoots. Tonight I've got some mosh fresh. 
a little salt and pepper, a little olive oil, some tongs. Let's give it a little stir. You just want some freshness because as um, someone who I don't know their name, but they really seem to nail it, the, the camera always eats first and your eyes always eat first. So you wanna make something look bright and green and just pop off the plate. And our plate's going on here. Make sure to use oven mitts or in my case, a towel. I prefer a kitchen towel to Okay, and so your short ribs will be in there, but we wanna put down your mushrooms and your potatoes first. Now, the, the beef came with this beautiful demi-glaze on it. So very important to uh, squeeze all the juices out of the pan if you're watching this in advance. Oh, I think our chef gave me a few extra potatoes and mushrooms tonight. So the short ribs are completely cooked in advance. So you don't need to worry about cooking them at all. This is really just reheating and having that sauce come to fruition. Move that along. And again, we wanted to make this meal super easy for you. So we've taken away a couple steps that a curated by Becca meal might have for you because we wanted tonight's scallop to be super easy for you. So there is our beautiful braised beef short rib with the roast fingerling potatoes, shiitake mushrooms, demi-glaze, and microgreen salad. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget, season your meat, salt and pepper. Because if something's not seasoned properly, it's not gonna taste like it's supposed to taste. So salt and pepper before you put the microgreen salad on. I made a mistake there. All right, and then our pasta is next. It's pretty simple, really. We're just taking it out of the oven and putting it on the plate. Don't burn your hands. So we've got um, ricotta and leek ravioli with squash, Swiss char, and roasted walnuts, and everything is in here and it's all cooked to different amounts so that when it comes out it can be gorgeous right on the plate take a big spatula if you have one and you want to try to scoop in right underneath the squash so that it gets it all on the bottom i've got a little extra squash here that i'm going to put on top But really, other than seasoning a little bit with salt and pepper at the end, I'll tell you what, I've got a little pecorino left over, so I'm gonna sprinkle that on top because don't let the good cheese go to waste. And if you do too, go for it. So here is our beautiful ricotta and leek ravioli done with the Swiss char, roasted almond, roasted walnuts, excuse me, and uh, butternut squash puree and diced butternut squash. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoy your meal. Thanks for being part of this. Thanks for the incredible support of the Snowsuit Fund uh, presented by Canadian Tire, supported by BMO, Private Wealth Management. And uh, just I hope you enjoy your dinner. I hope you enjoy your night. Enjoy your gala in the box. And uh, great being part of this with you.